I got a correlation okay. with all of this, with all these accolades he gets from the black community, all this, all this upper echelon shit he do in that black space. What has Eminem done except release that Black Lives Matter bullshit ass album, Rivals? What 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 else? What has he done to benefit the same black culture that he benefits from? He gave you he gave you fifty cent. G I didn't think so. I, so like I said, I didn't think so. He didn't do nothing. Thanks. What nothing. you what you mean? Wow. What do you mean he didn't do nothing? He didn't do anything. What, mean, what did he do? Well, what what nigga? I do? just told you. What what do you mean? What what? That, so what I just said? Don't don't hold no merit. Fifty no. cent G unit. That's no. not that's not that's not good. No no that's not. So you saying you don't like their music or what are you what saying? What did you do? What did you do to benefit the black culture that you eat from? Did you give back? Why are there kids in D? Detroit where you live? Are the black kids in Detroit where you live? Are they better off because of anything you did? Man, no. That, are you saying do he give to charities? Is that what you're asking? That's what I'm saying. Do what yeah, yeah. He do? give to charities every single year. For sure. For sure. I know that person. You know that. I don't see it. Why the you don't, you don't see it, nigga? Why you ain't from Detroit? What you got to see it for? That, that don't mean that there's many happen. black I mean, there's many black people from Detroit. Just, just like just like Dave Mays and them be just like Dave Mays and them be talking about he ain't from Detroit. He's very much from Detroit. You know what I'm saying? Like y'all paint anecdotal pictures else? about somebody that y'all don't even know. Why, he's, why are we talking about we, anybody we, else other than when did you first meet him? him? When did you first meet him? Because he's from Missouri. And he didn't live. On yeah, he was born. He was born. I don't need you to tell me that, bro. Yeah, he was born in Missouri and then he moved here. You know what I'm saying? But he grew up on the east side. You know what I'm saying? Like he's from Detroit. People saying he come from a trailer park. He don't come from a trailer park. He's from Detroit. He yeah, lived I'm in a trailer park. Proof, baby. But he's from okay, so Detroit. But he's, but he's from the, Detroit. What's up with Basement Productions and the, and and uh, his his group with the four white boys? You know about that? that? I ain't never met them dudes. But but Basement but Productions. You know that's a production that. company. That's a production company he was signed to. Yeah, I never met. I never met those white dudes. Okay. That he was in the group. Him and, him and three other white boys that had had a group called Basement Productions it's before he started fucking with black people. No, just, Basement just Productions. Basement straight. Productions is the same production company that he was signed to when he signed with Drake. Same that production the, company. That was the, the two brothers. If you yeah, Marky and Jeff. Marky exactly. and Jeff. The Bass Brothers. That's who that is. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. I do that. know. What do you I mean do you don't know? I'm telling you. You saying you don't know, but I'm telling you. So hey, no, no, you don't have all the facts. If you think what I'm telling you is is false, why would I lie to you, brother? I don't have no reason to lie. What did you say that I said was false? Oh, I thought I heard you say that you got the facts. Like, like I'm, like some I'm saying is is false. Oh. No, I didn't say nothing. I don't know what you said. It was false, but I do have a lot of facts because, you know, I did my, you know, I did my research and I know a lot of Ooh. shit. That, well, what but one thing you just spit as the fact was very wrong. Which is what? <laughs> In regards to the Bass Brothers and Basement Productions. What? No, the Basement Productions was four four white boys that made a uh, 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 rap tapes together. Okay. <sighs> When when uh, Eminem was like, whatever, about eighteen years old, nineteen. Sixteen, years old. dog. Sixteen. He was sixteen. 16. Don't don't there twist it. No, do you know the don't black girlfriend? It. There was no black girlfriend. That was a lie that was made up to make it seem to justify that song where he called black women bitches. There was no black girlfriend. You're gonna sit here and tell me then, it was a black girl. How do you how do you know that to be true? You how do you, you know it to be? You true? saying am I gonna sit here and tell you something? True? You talking What's to somebody that's friends with him? Had? You don't know him. Do you know that to be true? I'm asking you. I don't know. I don't know nothing about way back then. I okay. know I've been on tour okay. with him. I know I've, I've been on tour with him. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, so are you asking me if he if he fucked no, black I'm girls? Asking you, that, is he that what you asking? Black me? Girlfriend, when he was 16, that broke up with him, and that's why he I don't. I didn't know him when he was 16, brother. I don't. No. I don't know. I don't. I don't no, know. Not why? So I don't know. That was the reason that was given in the prepared statement that was put out. Who cares? Who cares? And why do you the care about it? The reason anybody cares is because who's what, what, what kind of girlfriend did Post Malone have when he was 16? Why you don't care about Post that? Post Malone. I don't give a fuck about Post Malone. What that got to do with Post Malone is what I'm talking about. The reason Post Malone exists and it has the level of success that he has is because not just of Eminem, but the impact of Eminem, how Eminem was used by the machine and these companies, these corporations to change the market of hip hop and allow them to control. Wow. So yeah, you think post, you think shit. Post Malone's oh, on, presence in the culture is a bad thing? On, you think that's yeah, a bad I thing do. for the culture? I do. I really don't. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I've been listening to hold a lot of shit. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yo, one mic, guys. One mic. One mic. Rock type of dude to me. No, he ain't. He's not a kid rock type of dude, bro. He's not. He's not. They did it with the Beastie Boys way before that. Wait, what? Work. And the Beastie Boys was a little. What you mean it didn't work? They did what with the Beastie Boys? They did what with the Beastie Boys? 
I'm saying if, if you're talking about white people rapping in hip hop, that was already successful. So it's not Eminem. Eminem, right, Eminem is not from, the precursor. You went from the Beastie Boys, Boys to 14 years later with Eminem. There was nothing. They, you know, you had third. And what's, third and what's, face, what's you have Vanilla Ice. And, yeah, and what right. happened? And what else? Like what, every, what every, happened every every white boy, after every after white boy. Eminem listen, is when all the white rappers. White listen, listen. Every, every white boy now have come into the business. There was every white boy came into every white boy came into here. Drag their nuts through the culture and kept it moving to rock. Except Marshall, he's the only one. Everybody else, well, including Rick did, Rubin. Well, he could have went. He could have went. We he could have went and did the rock. Let him go. Yeah, but he didn't because he's hip hop. <laughs> he shouldn't. He, he just should. He was. He, he was should've. raised by hip hop. But that's your opinion. But I'm just telling you, that's something to look at. Like what what Dave Mays is talking about. I think the countercultural kind of like thing that Dave Mays is talking about. Y'all are y'all are throwing him in that category just because he's white and you're doing it not knowing who you're talking about. You just assuming. Well, I'm doing well, it. We're, we're, well, you compare you comparing him to was, Kid Rock. That's, that, that's crazy for it all. He was the catalyst. What you know, whether it was intentional by his part or not, that's how he was used. So the Beastie Chris Boys weren't a catalyst. No. What they, about their Where would you? Where would you? How would you qualify quantify them as not being a catalyst? I mean, acting like Beastie that's Boys crazy. because. The Beastie Boys didn't. The Beastie Boys wasn't even rappers. Them niggas was doing all that bullshit music and came right, and did Beastie one rap Boys album. Like and you a, will not, uh, and you won't say that is that shit really. I mean, they were doing whoa, that. Whoa, whoa, that. Wait, so the Beastie oh. Boys were not. Wow. They wasn't even rappers at first. They but they actually the came and became Boys rappers. Did, are you from the, Are you familiar with what was happening in downtown Manhattan, like 82, 83, when the scenes were colliding? So you're bringing up the fact yes. that they weren't originally rappers. Yes, they they had a group called was it Cookie Puss or the, the, no, the Cookie no, Puss no, era. That's not what I'm. That's not what I'm saying. Just no, listen to what but, I'm saying. But do you know the, the era that you're speaking no, on? No, no, no. But just listen well, then to what you I'm might. then you might not want to speak on it because you right now you're no, in the territory that you're clearly no, it's not, not it's, clear it's, on. You are no, clearly it's, not it's, clear I'm, on Jeff, this era. I'm, I'm, you are clearly not clear on this era, bro. Just listen, just just listen. <laughs> the same thing they talking about with him. It's enough people that you could convict for that. Not the one motherfucker that's the rapper. Not the one motherfucker that stayed in hip hop. It's a lot of motherfuckers that came from other genres that came into hip hop. It's other motherfuckers who was hip hop that went into other genres. Agreed. The one white boy that's been this shit the whole time, then be like, that's crazy. And and no, it's not M fault that the white boy influx happened. It's not his fault. It was white boys in between and white boys after. They're still not one as successful as that one. It don't that nigga, that nigga was side by side. He was side by side with us at the open mics. At all the battles, you know what I'm saying? Like the same way we came up, he came up. The only difference is he's just a white boy. That's the difference. Right? Now, I, mean, I don't think. I don't think. Again, I don't think. Us, I don't think us made... as a culture. I don't think we. I don't think all of us put him up to some on some high platform like it, the greatest. Like, like me personally, he, that's whole for me. Whole what, is at what, the tippy top what, of lyricism what about to the me. Song, what about the song where he used the N word with the ER in it? What about that one? Did you listen to that one? And what was your thought about that? What, who was that asking me that question? Dave. What song are you talking about, Dave? One of those songs from that tape where he said, I don't like the chicks with the, the big Dave, 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 Dave. Dave, Dave, let me tell you, let me tell you something, Dave. Back then, when y'all was doing that shit, when y'all had that little baby what beef about, that y'all had. About what, what, no, 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 listen, listen, going, listen, listen, listen. When y'all was doing listen, let me talk, let me talk, man. Like when y'all was when y'all had y'all little baby beef going on, I was in Detroit. Me and M wasn't speaking to each other. We wasn't around each other. I don't have nothing to do with that. You know what I'm saying? So oh, right. we, whatever, I'm whatever, about whatever no he would. Baby beef or none of that. I don't know what you're talking no, about. No, nigga, that's what, that's, that's what y'all were, like, were engaged in. In the culture, side by side, this, that, and the other. And he's just like all of us. I'm saying, but not do all of us have a song where we use the N-I-G-G-E-R word derogatively? Towards black people, where we have another song where we call black people porch monkeys. Man, Dave, you go, you gonna have to, you know what, you know what, the same, the same thing that Mouse is talking about with, with, with him. I'm gonna have to see that with you. I'm gonna have to see some receipts with you to see what you really doing for the fucking community to be, so you can be some sort of. First of all, we can talk about me all day, but why? No, 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 no. We not gonna talk about you all day. We not gonna talk about you all day. I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, you don't get to be a gatekeeper. Who the fuck are you? Like, what have you done? Who the fuck am I? I'm the man who created the source and the source helped create all of it. And you, you, you partnered, you partnered up with the man that ruined it. You partnered up with the man that ruined it. So we on to the next topic. That's it. You ain't nobody like that. So I agree. Okay. I agree. Okay. With you. I agree. <laughs> okay. I know it's okay. Look, uh -huh. I agree with you, Royce. I agree with you. Right? We can't have two white people compete because then it started looking like a savior complex battle. 
Now, I'm asking you as a black motherfucker in the culture, I'm asking you, I'm not Dave, so you, you that same that same thing don't don't work with me. So I'm asking you, you okay with that nigga? You okay with that white man doing that and then smiling in your face? I, I I'm not. I don't look at it like that. I'm not okay. I'm not okay with what what was said on the tape. But I, I'm also taking in consideration that he was the youngin. He was a youngin, and I think I don't think there's a white person who exists that didn't use that word at some point. Like I just look at it like that, and then I weigh yeah. that against. The good, the good qualities that's in him that I that I noticed and the shit that he did for me coming up that he didn't need to do and the time we spent with each other, I came to the conclusion that I don't feel he a racist and I kept it moving. You know what I mean? That's that's really it. You know what I'm saying? I don't I don't know I don't understand what Dave and Benzino want the culture to do. What do y'all want us to do? Like y'all want us to throw that throw him in the fire, throw him away? Like the dude I is want, a, he's, no, he's a major I don't know contributor. About Dave and that's what I want. I want y'all to do that. I yeah, all right, want all right, to toss cool. this nigga. Nah, that ain't happened. That ain't happened. Wow. Because I think him, because because with him, I think what happens on a larger scale, on a on a grandiose, on a more grandiose well, scale in, in black culture, he's holding up a space. He's taking up space. That and, and, and like I said, Rich, I'm not just saying this because you here. I said this shit yesterday. I've said this shit on many a podcast. I if this nigga not here taking up space, I think you get that credit. That nah, I I, dis I, dis I disagree, my brother. What, what space is he really work. taking? He puts out one album a year and disappears. Nah, we talk about what space is he taking? Don't do that. Just don't hey, do that. What, don't do what that. I we're listen. talking about. We're talking about his career as a whole. We're not talking about 2021. His career as a whole. We're talking about you would like people to throw him away now, and I'm saying what no. I'm talking about no. I want. I want us to. I want us to collectively just throw him out. From day one, we should have threw him No, you, you, you specifically the, the said idea. he's taking up space. My question is, what space? He takes up space. His existence within the hip-hop culture from the day he dropped and, and got all that. I'm talking about right now. now. At the pace he's at right now, he puts out an album a year and disappears into his back cave, comes back like clockwork. Next year, drops another album, doesn't tour, doesn't do a lot of press, ain't on TV space. every two minutes. What we space be, is he physically occupying? Be, because the space that hip hop is going to look and everybody's going to freeze and say, "What oh, space goodness, is he occupying?" In a lot, in, in you're, ask, mind shit. you're asking me a question. I'm answering it. So now, when he <laughs> drops, the, when he drops, is there a limited amount of space? When he drops, no, the project, there's no limited amount of space. When he drops, that's, that's the project, all I need to know. Uh -huh. When he drops, the, when he drops the project, mm -hmm. hip hop media takes mm -hmm. a moment and pays attention to it, and no then, matter how long. They pay wow. attention to it. That wow. could go to a young black artist. Miles. But he's Eminem, Miles. though, Understand bro. something, Miles. Understand Eminem something. is a white... What the, the, the idea... Oh, God, the whatever. Idea that, the idea that there's... <laughs> you can't even answer... You can't even actually answer... Accurately answer the question, bro. And I'm not to say that respect. I just and Miles, this, that, Miles, that, this, that, Miles, that, this, that, this, 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 what you're saying is just your opinion, brother. That's like, that's, that's the... Re that's the reason why. It's like, it's, it's hard for us to come to a general consensus on that because that's just how you feel. That's your opinion. You know what I mean? Like you may look at his involvement with G Unit. Like, like it, you got to remember, bro. All of the labels were scared to get in bed with Fifty on a from a business perspective. Like Dre and M decided, man, fuck what everybody talking about. I know this nigga got beef, but we're about to sign him because we think that he'll be great for the culture. He'll be he'll be big. You know what I'm saying? And that nigga went and Fifty went on to create other millionaires and create other spaces. You know what I'm saying? And then like. He, he signed Slaughterhouse, he signed Griselda. All of these things are just, to me, their contributions. Rather they, rather they hit on a certain level or not, this is, these are attempts to, for culture, at culture. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I'm talking about. I don't understand. If you take that away, then you're taking away pieces of history of culture. Right on. I think, and I think we'd still be all right. I don't think this white man. <laughs> we wouldn't be all right. Hey, 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 Mouse, hey, Mouse, don't listen to this, though. You got to have logical consistency when you make certain arguments. So I feel where you're coming from, right? I get you. But it's not logically consistent if you say if you move M or you race M, then Royce gets that accolade when Eminem was part of the proportion of, 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 of Royce, the, Royce the five name, you know, because he, he held him and, and Eminem looked at Royce and revered him. As in a certain way, because I, I even I told Royce early on, we first became friends like, yo, in my opinion, I always thought you smoked him on shit. But then Royce was explaining to me, too. But like you you had to be there to see the type of in the ways that M would calculate in his genius. They got to see it firsthand. And that's always different, too. It's always different 
when you was on the team with Michael Jordan, aside from being in the stands? Because there's some niggas that don't think Mike is whatever, but the niggas who play with him is like, yo, you have no idea. This Honestly, is completely nigga, different. The nigga you're talking to, Royce, is right here because of Cubs, though. Like, yeah, yeah, so that's that what I'm just saying about life like consistency. You yeah, can't say like remove him. My mama, nigga, and, then, and then I'm here. Right. I'm here, nigga. Like, this nigga helped right. that nigga. This nigga helped the New York niggas. He helped the Detroit niggas. He helped a lot of niggas. He, and you talking about him like he ain't helped niggas. But look, but everywhere, but notice this, though. But it's notice bigger this than that, every, though. It's, but everywhere it's bigger than go, that. But, but listen, hey, nothing, Dave, but hold on, hold on. Dave, listen, listen. Everywhere listen, we go up, in the world, hold up, Lose, hold up, Lose, hold up, Lose. Dave, you can't tell us what's bigger than we telling you what's bigger I, than that. We telling I, you. I, I, I can say what I want to say. Okay. No, but, you can say what you want to say, but it don't mean it's gonna hold no merit. Okay. It don't. It, it don't mean you dictate. It don't mean you dictate that. I'm not dictating nothing. No. I'm gonna say my piece. So what you talking about? Can either fuck with me or they won't. But motherfuckers been fuck with me for 30, 40 years. Because of the shit that I've done and said and how I am. Now, and that's how we fuck with the same with, way, Dave. What I'm saying that's, we, is we that fuck with just like we fuck with you, Dave. We fuck with him the same way. Y'all the same motherfucker. We're not the same. Now they got you got that right, bro. Okay. You got that right. You got that right. We are definitely not the same. <laughs> Y'all you got same. that right. Y'all ain't the same. Have, I don't, I never, I don't, I don't same. have none of that in my in my history. And what I've what I've done as far as fucking with the streets and as far as Fucking with authenticity and hip hop is is documented. Okay, it is. Man, you fuck with you fuck people. with Benzino. You don't fuck with no authenticity. I'm gonna I kick your ass Benzino. to the crowd. Get the fuck. Out. I haven't fucked with Benzino <laughs> for five years. Number one. You fuck okay. with Corn Boss. Okay. All right. Yeah, bro. I know it's okay. <laughs> okay. You sound like a Corn Ball. Is there? A pop corn All right. Enough of Dave Mays. He can go back to the audience. Go ahead. Who else want to talk now? <laughs> Where's the fuck out of here, motherfucker? Hey, yo, Roy. Yo, what? Fuck you talking to, nigga. I put death on your doorstep, nigga. Fuck you talking Damn. to. Yo, Whoa, Look at yeah. all this divisiveness. This this ain't no divisiveness. Ain't no divisiveness. I ain't divide. I ain't divide. We. I don't. I'm. I'm not one with Dave Mays, nigga. Let's get this shit straight, man. Y'all niggas in here acting like this motherfucker at the cookout or something. Get the fuck out of here, man. <laughs> 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 